evening. <laughs> um, my name's Rob Yates and this is... Smart Hopkins. Smart Hopkins. And uh, we are on, I don't know, we're Monday today? Yes. Monday. And the past few weeks has been epic for us. Um, so this is number episode 45 of Tetric TV. That's 45 episodes in 2017. Somehow we've managed. And that means there's only 215 episodes more to go this year. How much fun. How much fun. How does that make you feel? Buzzing with excitement. Buzzing with excitement. We've had a awesome afternoon this afternoon. Um, the our business coaching subscription service, where we're going to bring you twelve months worth of coaching for the price of one, is we're going to launch this later this week. Yes, we are. We are this later. later this week. Uh, website's ninety nine percent of the way there. A few little video tweaks to do, and we've been working out how we can bring you all of the episodes from around the globe. So currently, Africa, Asia, North America, Europe are the locations. Asia. Dubai. Oh yeah, Dubai. Dubai. So, um, so that's what we've been playing with this afternoon, how we can bring you episodes from around the world. And um, tonight, we're going to be looking at your, what do we call it, frames of reference? Points of reference. Points of reference for, uh, for success. What is it that you consider when you make your decisions to ensure that your effort flows with focus towards achieving a, um, a successful outcome. outcome. Yep. So that's what we're going to look at tonight. If we're a little bit tired, both of us have worked 15 to 18 hours a day for the past 14 days. Something like um, that. And so, yeah, welcome to the world of entrepreneurs. Um, so, if you're watching this on Instagram tonight, please give a double click on the screen or do a little heart. Mark, if they're on Facebook, what would you like to see? Share, please. Ticket to the game is? Like and share. Like and share. Share first. Share first. And leave comments, ask questions, um, and any other social media, please just jump on board, subscribe, get involved, give us a thumbs up, whatever it might be. Um, few things to mention. Uh, get coached. The deadline for get coached applications is, I think, Four this Friday. Um, it's your opportunity to get three months worth of free business coaching from, or career coaching, or performance coaching, or coaching of any sort from Mark and myself. Um, you will get to profile yourself and your business on uh, as part of our Fly on the Wall documentary. Um, that means you're going to get to market yourself and your business or your career or whatever else across five continents um, because Australia then suddenly jumps in because we're going to launch in Australia now. Next week. Next week. So, um, so you get that chance to apply. Either email us and tell us why at info at tetrakey.com or, uh, or go to tetrakey.com forward slash get coached, fill in the form, send it to us. And out on Friday, we will start telling you what next. Um, download our book. The link is in the description. And if you're patient enough, you can wait till the 14th, which is the middle of next week. Mark will be in the UK then. And then I will start giving you access to our next book. This will be book number two for this year. But we're convinced that we're going to have number three. First of June. On the 1st of June. And number four. Middle of August. Middle of August. So usually I go and commit to these dates and, and then Mark tells me off. So I've come to the conclusion now I'm just going to get him to commit to the dates and it'll all be good. Um, all of the books are going to be available via our website, via Facebook and in the next two weeks via Amazon.com and Amazon.co.uk. So you'll be able to download them wherever you are in the world. So uh, jump on board, get engaged and uh, like, share and um, talk to me about points of reference for success. I mean, it was Mark's title. So where do we start with this? Uh, okay, so we have this concept of, well, we, not Tetrachy, but there are, there's a concept of work life and work life balance. 1985. Uh, 1985, which we don't prescribe to. We prescribe to you have a life and it's the choices that you make along the life that dictates the outcomes that you're going to achieve. Yep. But in reality, we do have a life that so the choices do get driven by um, how you want to spend your time. 
we all need to make an income in order to survive and for us obviously we've chosen this this route mm. but I just want to share um, the concept so I've got a personal driver so some of you know I have a an amazing seven-year-old boy so as I think about what it is that I'm gonna base my decisions upon so if I have time where do I want to invest time if I have a decision to make what point of reference do I want to use that's going to allow me to make a decision that's going to abide by my point of reference and take me closer to that point of reference? Because you, we all know that if you don't have a hook or something, then through all the right intentions, your journey can be a real meandering journey. And sometimes you can leave it to chance and luck, which is also a good thing, but it doesn't always get you there in the quickest route. Mm. So my personal driver is is around the around the, the sort of the lines of creating the ability to fulfill my debt my needs on a daily basis in order to be the best father that I can be cool because in my view if I've got to look after myself and I've got to make sure I'm fulfilling my needs in order to live the life that I want to live with my son I'm not my, my life is not built around my son mm. my life is not built around tetrarchy my life is built around making me the best I can be and the happiest I can be and everything else will fall off from that. So it's having what you may recall to refer to as something like a success statement. Yeah. Like a, a thing that when you're not working directly towards a goal and another opportunity arrives that you can go, does this add or detract value from my path? Exactly. So am I going towards or am I going away from? So again, mm. if you think about Tetraki and you think about you, you and I in terms of our business driver... Our business driver for Tetraki is very much around helping others drive and manage their performance to their better abilities. Mm. It's all about their success. Their success. It's us utilizing our expertise, our knowledge, our experience that we've been fortunate to gain over what forty years between mm. the two of us, and giving that to other people to help them be successful. So again, if we're looking at as we build Tetraki, then the decisions that we have to make they have to be congruent with what we want to achieve. Mm. So again, it's, it's a, something for, for you guys to think about and pause and stuff. And, and we all have these mission statements and these vision statements and stuff. And they're all semantics and they're all labels. But if you come back to the crux of it, all I'm asking you guys to think about tonight is, what is it that drives your decision? So what is it that's going to make you happy? Because the decisions you're going to making have to support your happiness. So... And again, your business, the decisions you make around your business have to support your business to be successful. So again, it's just reiterating your point, Rob. It's around, it's ensuring that you don't live your life with blinkers on. You don't mm. run your business with blinkers on, so you're immune to all the ideas. But as the ideas and, and decisions come into your, into your inbox and into your brain, that you're actually using what I call as a point of reference in order to speed up that process, in order to make sure you stay aligned on that journey. Cool. So... Um Mine is to create the biggest positive shadow in terms of increasing people's performance and while earning uh, earning money to spend time with my friends and family doing the things that we all love together. That keeps me going where it is that, that I, I wish to go to and it's, you've probably heard from both Marks and mine, they're both quite closely aligned to our family and our profession, our work at the same time. Some thoughts you could think about is so, okay, so having these couple of sentences that you can just like run off the tongue whenever you get the opportunity to make a decision to keep yourself aligned. Think, think about, um, think about your, your, maybe your passions and your profession and your, your personal life as well. And, and what is it that's really, really, really important to you? Now, you know what's really important to you because it hurts when you're when it's taken away from you. If the idea of it being removed from your life forever hurts significantly, it's of significant enough importance to add it to part of your, your purpose, your, I'd call it a success statement, your point of reference, whatever. And I'd advocate you spending, I don't know, half an hour, an hour, even longer, coming up with those couple of sentences for yourself that is, it's not a mantra, um, it's not something you go, I'm amazing, I'm amazing, I'm amazing, but it is something that you could have in your wallet, have on your phone, um, memorise, so that when you get those opportunities, you can analyse them quickly, because um, we all know that the, the, the speed of taking an opportunity is a, proportional to how much quality and quantity of outcome you get out of it. So delaying it, to, and what happens is often we delay stuff for so long in shall I do it, shall I not do it, is it right, is it not right, we quantify it, 
And we all know that heart-based decisions generally are the very, very best ones that we make. Hmm. And it was, um, it was interesting, I had this uh, discussion with a client on Friday and we went through this, this process and this journey. Oh. And then this client asked me, so how do I know the value of this statement to me? How do I know that it's robust enough? So, which is a really good, good question. So I said, well, we're gonna do a stress test. So what we did is we took his business, <laughs> not, not a literal one, <laughs> we took his business, his business point of reference mm. and then I created three scenarios around that, around his business. So one was around um, an investor coming in who um, wants to grow their business exponentially and then uh, flip it within three years. Mm -hmm. The second one was partnering with clients that didn't quite share the same values that he shared. Uh, I can't remember the third one. And what we did, I said to him, right, I'm gonna give you these scenarios now and you're gonna revisit your business driver, your business point of reference to see if how you would make a decision based on your driver. Mm. And it was interesting how he went through it. We actually made some tweaks to that statement because he felt it wasn't strong enough to demonstrate that the client who didn't have values, it didn't come out that he was not gonna partner that person right. irrespective of what the upside was. And also for the VC, the venture capitalist one as well, he wanted to have build a legacy, so three years. So again, it was a great way to stress test. So mm. as you build your point of reference, sit down with a, a coach, sit down with a mentor, sit down with a friend, and ask them to create some scenarios that test the boundaries of your point of reference, and then see if that point of reference is still, it still tugs the right heartstrings. Mm. Awesome. And um, we've actually been playing with that at, uh, today and over the past, what, 10 days? We've just finished today our Tetra Key Business Coach training program. Five new Tetra Key business coaches. Um, they're all amazing and they're gonna be adding value to your lives very soon. Um, and you'll get to meet them in a, a week, I think maybe next week actually. Um, so, um, and, and that's something that we've been doing with them because it's that important. And, and that allows you to start ensuring that you can make decisions quickly, but also slowly in terms of end in mind. What is your five, 10 year end in mind? Um, how have you been uh, working towards it. We've just been joined on Facebook Live by Elise, who graduated from the program today. So uh, congratulations, Welcome. Elise. Welcome to the, the club. The club. The club. Welcome to the family. It's great to have you on board. Um, and, and so that's, that's pretty much it from us this evening. Yeah, points of reference. So spend now, it's always good while it's fresh. Those of you who watched it, if you're watching this later, just now, once you finish it, get a pen and paper out and just Think about, a great little tip is to go back and revisit some of the decisions you've made. And just, and as you revisit those things, think about what it is that dragged you towards that decision. And those could be a great starting point for your point of reference. So do some work now. Don't just listen to us. This is not just about us talking and, and, and giving you some, some things to think about. The value you get is actually taking some of the things that we talk about and you think will add value to your lives and actually doing something with information. Otherwise, you're just digesting and not doing Cool. So thank you for joining us for episode number four, 45. That's crazy. Of, it's crazy. 45, 45 of Tetra Key TV. Um, uh, over the next few weeks, uh, you're going to have some of him and some of me. And you'll have some of him from England, maybe. Maybe not. We haven't we quite got that far yet. yet. This is uh, uh, um, yeah, well, you'll have some of me from uh, 10 days time from Dubai and uh, yeah. Seattle in the US. So uh, yeah, there may be a couple of pre-recorded episodes just to fill in some blanks. But have a great next 24 hours. Get involved with uh, tetrakey.com forward slash get coached for three months business coaching. Download the book, read it, do the activities. And on the 14th of March, we're gonna give you free access to our second book that's full of activities where you can go and take all of our thoughts and put them into practice. And you guys are gonna get it for free. Um, the folks on Amazon are gonna be paying for it. So please engage with it via, via here. 25 activities. 25 chapters, 25 activities. And the next book will be just as good, same size, 1st of June. Yes, boss. You said it, not me. <laughs> uh, so have a great evening, have a great 24 hours further, and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night.